Hello guys, I finally decided to make a reaction video. This time we are going to react to Silicon Valley series. And this react is different from the other videos that I have about React Framework. It actually is a different topic. So I'm gonna share with you some useful tips if you want to become a developer or you want to start a business for yourself, you want to be a startup owner or co-founder, there are some good tips in this TV series and have a reaction on it. So without wasting the time, let's jump into it. I, we're just really excited to get going, Mr. Gregory. Yes. Who's we? Myself. Him. Uh, the guys back at the house. Guys? Let me just explain to you. Here, it's, it's inside a VC uh, office. Uh, they are going to give the Richard uh, a fund for his uh, startup, and it's their first meeting. Well, guys, who, who is this? Ehrlich Bachman. I'm an entrepreneur, much like yourself. Uh, <laughs> Richard actually developed Pied Piper while residing in my incubator. So as per our agreement, I own 10% of the company. I'm paying you. Yeah, actually, when you work in an incubator, you need to share some uh, stocks with the incubator in order to support you. $200,000 for 5%, yet you're giving this man twice that in exchange for a futon and some sandwiches? <laughs> Actually, sir, my tenants provide their own food. And what other percentages have you apportioned? Can I see your cap table? What's the cap table? It's a document that defines who has shares in your company and who you are working with as co-founders investment deck, business plan, or any other relevant paperwork you may have prepared? I, I just was under the impression that uh, we would just be coming by and saying hi, you know, uh, to pick up the check. And uh, I just didn't know that any of that stuff was due yet. Due? <laughs> this is not college, Richard. Huh? Yeah, actually, it's the problem that most developers have. It is something like uh, when you have an idea and you find an investor, you may think that everything can be so easy and you just tell him your idea and they're gonna pay you a check and they're gonna invest on your startup. I'm not going to be giving you a course syllabus. You turned down $10 million to keep Pied Piper. What did you give up that money for? What is this company? What did I buy? You bought the algorithm. Is this company? What did I buy? You bought the algorithm. Which... No. Yeah, exactly. Investors usually don't buy your final product. Watch. Ooh. The algorithm is the product of the company. I know that. What I'm asking about is the company itself. Who is it? What do they do? Exactly. It's really important for investors. If they want to invest on your business, they're going to know who is in, involved in this business, who you are going to work with, and lots of other things. Are they essential? Or do you just throw a percentage at them like you did with this? <laughs> Poor guy. This all must be worked out now when you said you'd guide us through some of the stuff i thought that this was the stuff you'd be guiding us through i cannot guide you until you give me something to guide this is going very poorly I know. he doesn't seem to know what he's doing <laughs> yeah exactly because he's a developer, he's not a business owner, and he needs to learn lots of things. <laughs> did you just take a sip from an empty cup? Mm. Yes. Why did you do that? 
<gasps> Just something to do. Just Come back in 48 hours <laughs> with an airtight business plan, a clear go-to-market strategy, and a three-year summary P&L, or there will be no check. Exactly. It's what most, uh, not most, all of the VCs, the companies that are going to invest on your business, will ask you to provide them. It's a kind of doc kind of document that shows to the investor what is your idea, what is your business, and who you are going to work with, what are your costs, what is going to be your final product, how is your acquisition cost to find a new client for your product, and when is your return on investment date, and uh, lots of other things. You really embarrassed me in there. You didn't say shit about any business plan before today, and neither did he. You know, he's kind of being an asshole back there. Yeah, that's why he's a billionaire, because he knows how and when to be an asshole. Uh, obviously, you know, we can't go back on my shares. That ship has sailed, but from here on out. Now you're being an asshole. You say that like it's a bad thing. Richard, if you're not an asshole, it creates this kind of asshole vacuum, and that void is filled by other assholes, like Jared. I mean, you almost gave him shares. Yeah, exactly. It's an important thing. As a business owner, you shouldn't be an asshole people, but you should know how to deal with people, how to uh, divide shares between the co-founders. You need to completely change who you are, Richard. A complete tectonic shift has to happen. Tectonic. What? A tectonic shift. Is the Earth's crust moving around? Teutonic, which is what you just said, is an ancient Germanic uh, tribe that fought the Romans. They were originally from Scandinavia. And Stop it! Stop it. <laughs> You're being a complete tool right now. I need you to be a complete asshole. <laughs> so they have only 48 hours to provide a business plan. Uh, thanks for sitting down like this, Guilford. Yeah, now... They are going to talk with uh, their team members to find out uh, who should be kept here and who should leave the team. Oh, we know it's kind of a little weird. <laughs> so, um, can you kind of catch me up on what you see as your role in the company? It's an important question. If you want to participate in any interview for getting a job, uh, almost all the employers will ask you what will you bring into my company why do you want to apply for this job why should I hire you so you should have some good answers for this kind of questions in advance what do you do what do I do system architecture networking and security no one in this house can touch me on that Okay. Yeah, that's an important thing. You should be unique at your job. But here in Silicon Valley series, I think it's not necessary for a startup to have someone as a security engineer because most uh, because you because if you have good developers, they can make something safe for you. And when you start to grow, you can hire someone to help you. But for the first stage, it's not that much necessary to have someone for your security. That's good to know. Fall probably came in here and puked out a bunch of tech specs, three fourths of which are total horse shit. Did you bring up the Iranian revolution thing? <laughs> yeah, those words mean nothing. But here's the fact. I'm the only one of these clowns that can code in Java. Yeah, Java is great, guys. And I write sleek, performant, low overhead Scala code with higher order functions that will run on anything. Period. End of sentence. Yeah, exactly. If you have someone in your team that can uh, build software for every platform, this is going to help you a lot. Because as a startup owner, you may need to build something to be run on Android, on uh, iOS, on Windows. And that's why me, myself, use React Native instead of uh, doing Android application using Kotlin or Java. Because I can run it on both platforms. And startups usually seeking for people that can do something like this. So basically, I think whatever equity I get... It should reflect that I contribute more than Gilfoyle. 
This is weird. <laughs> I know, right? It's but everybody's been doing it. Guilfoyle did this? It's just a formality to get me caught up. So what makes you a value to the Pi Piper team? Um Nothing. Programming, I guess. <laughs> Pretty good at code. Uh develop algorithms, so forth. Different from the type of algorithm Richard created? Well, yeah, like not as good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Richard's a ten X or I'm like barely an Xer. <laughs> 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 Smoke you and now do the startup owners play games in their office? Yeah, as I was a co-founder of a startup, yeah, we, we had PlayStation and uh, on weekends we were playing games with each other that was very enjoyable. <laughs> Don't be a dick. Mushroom stamp! Yeah, you're being a dick. Oh, there you go. Show that to your mom. Mushroom stamp. <laughs> That's great. Oh, what is he doing? Hey, what do you guys think about this Jared? He's shit, right? No, he's pretty sharp. Yeah, he does shit that no one else... Yeah, I... Yeah, but he's a know-it-all. I mean, I don't think there's room in here for him. Well, there will be after Richard gets rid of Big Head. Wait, Richard's getting rid of Big Head? Why? Listen, we all love Big Head, but the truth is he's not as good of a coder as I am, not as good at system architecture as Guilfoyle, not as good at being a prick as you. No offense. Yeah, he's a lightweight at everything. Brings nothing to the table. Him getting points would be a big fuck you to all of us. But he's a great guy. Great guy. But useless. Yeah, he is a great guy. Not like that Jared. So, uh, I should say, being a great guy, it's not gonna bring you a great job. So you should have expertise. At least we can all agree on that. Yeah, I don't know. Me and Rich have just always kind of like been in this together, you know? Together, right. But to be clear, Richard created the algorithm on his own, yes? Oh yeah, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> He's my best friend. That's true. Uh, that's a big mistake that some startup owners make when they want to build their team i think if you just uh, have some member in your team because they are your best friends this is gonna ruin your business this is gonna ruin your business and that person your best friend because in future you will face lots of problems the first problem that you're gonna face is when you're talking with investors they will ask you what this person gonna bring to your company bring to your business why should be here yes um, the camaraderie is quite apparent but Peter Gregory demanded a mm. lean ruthless business plan and I don't think that the CEO of Microsoft has a, a paid best friend Sergey Brin does <laughs> Larry doesn't do shit <laughs> <laughs> that's not a good example <laughs> it is sort of like uh, a floating utility player kind of like a like a jack-of-all-trades but by his own admission, he's really more like a master of none. That's true. That is true. Which is not something you generally reward with several points in what may someday be a multi-billion dollar company. This will never fly with Peter Greger. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you shouldn't be master of everything because in that way you are master of none. You need to find a unique expertise for yourself and m work on it to become a senior at that kind of stuff for example if you know a lot of programming languages it's okay but you should be master of one of them or two of them not all of them because that's not possible if you want to get paid well you should have expertise at a deep level i would not want to be richard right now Having to tell Big Head that he's out? Now, this is gonna sound super mean, but the other night he was sleeping. I was just staring at his face. All I could think was, he's utterly useless. Big Head is a man with zero purpose. <clears throat> oh, hi. Hi, Big Head. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> super good right now. Um, uh, I'm just gonna maybe like go for a bike ride real fast. And poor Big Head. Clear my yeah, that was... All I wanted to show you today, I hope this is gonna help you and if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like 
and subscribe to my channel if you haven't i'm gonna make videos about programming and this kind of general topics hope you have a great day if you like this you probably enjoy watching these videos as well good luck